All right, thank you, Taylor. Welcome back to Sioux Falls, where we want to talk about a program called Teammates. And Brianna Venekamp is the executive director. And before we get to what this is, your background a little bit uh, in softball, in teaching. Uh, what, what is your background? Uh, well, I grew up in Sioux Falls. Um, I was a big athlete in high school, played softball, uh, basketball, and volleyball. And um, then I went to play softball at Augustana. So uh, sports are a huge component of my life. So, What is Teammates? Well, Teammates is um, a mentoring program, and it was st started by Tom Osborne and his wife Nancy uh, about 30 years ago. Nancy was watching a show, uh, a documentary, and there was a, a well-known businessman uh, who turned philanthropist who had been called back to his elementary school for uh, like a commencement address. And he'd noticed that the conditions had kind of eroded over time. At the commencement address, he told the students that he would pay for their college if they stayed out of trouble and graduated. And so 99% of the students ended up graduating and about 50% ended up actually taking his offer and going to college. And Nancy saw this program and so when Tom came home, she said, we should do something like this. And he tells the funny story because he says, well, I don't know how I feel about if we have the resources to pay for a whole elementary school to, to go to college, but uh, let's see what we can do. So he went to his team, the football team, and asked who would be interested in mentoring, and 22 of his players uh, stepped up and said they would be interested. And so then they went to the public school and matched with 22 eighth graders, and um, those relationships that they continued until those students graduated, uh, 18 of the students ended up graduating and they ended up providing resources for those 18 to go to college or post-secondary education. And after that they said we've really got something here and that's how the teammates mentoring program was born. It's a student-led program so what that means is the student requests the mentor, the student um, tells us what they like, what they're looking for in a mentor, what they hope to share. So if we have a student who says they love soccer, um, we, would want, we would absolutely want to match them with someone who knows how to talk about soccer, maybe has played a little bit, or a soccer coach. So uh, we have some students too that might say, what are your interests? And they'll say football, 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 <laughs> or basketball, basketball, basketball. So uh, being able to uh, pair them up with someone that shares that love and passion, there's, um, that just creates this wonderful, authentic connection that then uh, over the years can turn into something really special. So when you think about what resources do you have, what, uh, what unique talents do you have that you could share with someone, thinking of it from that perspective, but anyone can be a mentor. What students are we talking about? Grade school or what is the age range for, these, uh, for the students? Uh, teammates serves third grade through 12th grade. So you don't have to start in third grade. They just found that third graders can, can, could conceptualize what a mentor was um, better. And so they start in third grade, but you can match with a elementary, middle, or high school student, usually like a freshman. Um, but you can match at any point because they also have uh, what's a, called Teammates Plus, where you can have a mentor into college too. So real, real tremendous program. They felt I feel like they've kind of thought of all the gaps and cho and chose to fill those with their program very intentionally. Is one of the tricks to get the right number of mentors and the right number of students, right? Yes. That, that's one thing that comes up. Right. We always have more students that want a mentor than we have mentors available. So that's the big thing is to um, really help people understand that mentoring doesn't require uh, a tremendous amount from you. It's uh, your time, which is a very important, but you don't have to have a preset of skills to be a mentor. And uh, it's during the school year, during the school day, so it's only, you don't meet in the summer, so that's um, helpful for people to understand that time commitment. But if you want to be a mentor, how do you, yeah. how do you become a mentor? Well, you, if you want to hear about, learn more about the legacy and the history of the program, you can go to teammates.org, and that tells a little bit more about the story and that guides you on how to sign up to become a mentor. Uh, we also have our local chapter, which is siouxfallsteammates.org, and that will show you our local impact, local mentors, and local students, and, and you can see how, um, what, what we're doing here in Sioux Falls. So and as either said, one. As you said, the Osborne started this a long yeah. time ago, but it's yep. really just getting going now in Sioux Falls, right? Correct. Yep. We're three years old. So, and um, really hoping to grow to support as many students as we can and uh, here and across the state. What have you seen in that, in that short time with uh, the way students react to this? Uh, I think that 
Well, having been a teacher, I just know the caring, the, the impact that a caring adult makes. So when your mentee is like looking forward to that time because they're super excited, there's like when they're little, they might jump up and down and be like, my mentor's coming. Um, when they get into middle school and high school, they're like, my mentor's coming. <laughs> but it's opposite day, so they're like, I'm super excited on the inside, but no one can know that. <laughs> uh, so, um, but I think the greatest part is to see that hope um, that they have something to look forward to and, and, and they have a positive influence. So it's, that part is really, when you think about wanting to make an impact, you're not just making um, an impact on that student one-to-one, -one. you're making a generational impact because how you help that student is gonna help then their relationships in their life. So I have students that come back as a teacher and they say, you know, because you said this to me and believed in me, now I do this. Mm -hmm you have that opportunity as a mentor to plant those seeds with a student. And for a student to see somebody take an interest in them yep. can put them off the charts as far as yep. where they're going to go in the future. Right? Exactly. Yes, exactly. Can you just financially support mm -hmm. the organization? Yes, 100%. You can provide donations. It takes about 450 to $500 to support one mentor-mentee relationship. So donations can be accepted on our website or having your, uh, you can sponsor a mentor or you could sponsor team, you know, teammates, um, we would definitely welcome that because that just means we can serve more kids um, and get more mentors paired up. It's a lot of uh, education and awareness and more marketing and things and games and uh, events to raise awareness. So any help is appreciated for that. All right. Brianna, mm -hmm. we appreciate what you're doing. Thanks for yeah. your time. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. You appreciate bet. it. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.